certified most accurate. Now your first worn five forecast. Good Monday morning, Mid Michigan. Hopefully, had a great weekend. Meteorologist Chris Eastlake here with your Monday update. It looks like we've got temperatures headed towards the mid to upper 30s this afternoon, which is a little bit above average. Unfortunately, though, our wind pretty strong today, at least not quite as strong as it has been recently, but enough to keep our temperatures feeling more like the 20s today. Those will be sustained between 10 and 20 and gusts near 30 and 35. Your first one five sky tracker shows that we're not seeing much in the way of wet weather this morning. A few flurries at best showing up on your sky tracker. But otherwise, today should be pretty minor as far as any impacts go. It's just the wind that we're talking about. Mostly cloudy skies otherwise, and we're dry through this evening outside of any flurries that pass along with a cold front. But otherwise, tomorrow it looks like a dry start to the day with a few areas of sunshine. And then we'll cloud up in the afternoon, and perhaps our next round of snow comes in during the evening hours. A little bit of question of just how far south this goes. Our northern uh, communities will be the ones that are most impacted by this, but it still looks like a pretty minor snowfall event that moves through quickly, perhaps an inch or two of accumulation in some of those northern counties, lesser amounts to the south, and then all eyes turn to what's coming in on Christmas Eve. It looks like mostly rain at this point, but still enough to bank uh, travel a bit of a nuisance there, so we'll keep our eyes on that. But definitely easier to navigate with rain rather than snow and then things brighten up a little bit as we head towards the weekend. Your seven day forecast shows we'll have a chance for a few early morning flurries on Wednesday, but otherwise a pretty nice day. And then the weekend itself, Saturday and Sunday, not looking too bad. Stay with WNEM TV five on air on the go and online for more news and weather updates.